Wow, big green flash at the surface when that lightning bolt hit. Not the green area that's flashing, it was just north of that. Some interesting medio electrical process there. So the line of storms was propagating from north e northwest to southeast earlier. Now the area southeast of us developed and it's now propagating from southeast to northwest. I think we might have captured something pretty rare with that big green ball earlier that appeared right after the lightning. Not the flashing green light. You almost have to hunt for this stuff. That's why they call them hurricane hunters. They go in looking for very specific meteorological phenomena. Of course, this is, is not a hurricane, but it's a very, very uh, well-developed lightning show. Those low-level cloud clouds are outflow from the south. You can see this big broad base that's formed to the south of us with low level clouds beneath it. Now a streamline, a basic outflow boundary is coming from new thunderstorms near Apollo Beach across the bay. The lightning show has been going on for over an hour and a half so it's an active night see that area coming in. That's outflow from the thunderstorms over Manatee County. That's the county south of us across the bay where the Sunshine Skyway goes. And the winds will pick up as this low-level outflow comes in. That upper level low moving over us from e the east coast of Florida is helping destabilize the atmosphere by providing very cold air aloft. That interacting with the very warm temperatures over Tampa Bay and the hot temperatures we had during the daytime is producing a lot of instability, which is producing these strong thunderstorms east of us. And of course, east of that upper level low that's crossing over us is Hurricane Florence, which is not a threat to us big threat to the Carolinas. All right, here comes the outflow boundary. That thing is expanding quickly as the outflows come together. Outflow boundary from the south and outflow from the southeast, Apollo Beach coming together. That's what that is. So we have these low base outflow clouds, almost shelf clouds, not quite though. And we have this developing I guess you could call it base above the lowest shelf clouds. And these low clouds coming under the base, evaporating, basically feeding moisture into the base of this thunderstorm, developing thunderstorm. So moisture is being fed. The winds are going to crank up as this boundary comes up. See that? That's right. That's it right there. We got the base of the th developing thunderstorm and we got this shelf sort of outflow coming in under it really quickly.
lots of lightning to the south of us as this outflow boundary comes in. You can see the base of the main thunderstorm, the base of the developing thunderstorm and the outflow low-lying clouds beneath it, feeding moisture to the developing thunderstorm. So that's why the winds are picking up. That outflow is coming underneath the base of the thunderstorm and modifying it. So now, this outflow will eventually become inflow. It'd be nice if the camera didn't blur so much. There we go, much better.